Hi, I'm Guido from Wacom and today I want to talk about which product is the most suitable one for a specific tasks like homeschooling. So this question comes up a lot in, uh, in recent times. So uh, yes, I want to do, use a tablet for homeschooling and to work on my school content, uh, like on paper, but what tablet is the best in your portfolio? So because we have a wide range of tablets and today I want to focus on the, I think the most suitable tablets for this specific task. This is on the one hand is the Intuos tablet, the Wacom Intuos tablet, and the Wacom One interactive pen display. And this is already the the basic difference, the key difference between both products. The Wacom One is an interactive pen display, so you're writing directly on screen, and the Intuos is a classical pen tablet. And it's difficult to say. Um, which product is best for which task. So basically, uh, I want to describe the key difference. The key difference between both products is on the Intuos, you write on the tablet and your eyes are focused on the screen. So you're focusing on the screen contact. That means that you have a disconnection between what you are doing here on your tablet and what you see on the screen. So this is basically not like on paper. So that comes to um, the fact that you need some training to get used to this hand-eye coordination. So you need uh, you have a learning curve, basically. Uh, especially you, you can notice this if you want to write something on an Intuos and you have you see it on the screen, but you not you don't see what your hand is doing. And this takes some time to get used to it. Um, based on my experience, it takes between three hours and three weeks. It really depends on personality. But this is something you have to keep in mind. On the pro side, definitely it, the, the, the price performance is on that product is um, quite unique. So below 100 euros, below 100 dollars, you can get a tablet where you can already start annotating, writing and painting on your PC or Macintosh. So if you're having difficulties or if you want to avoid the learning curve and you to start off directly, I would rather prefer an interactive pen display like the Wacom one. Slightly higher price point, about 399 euros or US dollars, but you can, since it is a screen, so you can either have a, a duplicate your screen or ex extend your screen, you can use the pen to write directly on screen like you would do on paper. So especially if you do handwriting or if you do precise annotation, an interactive pen display like the Wacom One is, in my opinion, the preferred tool of choice. And since you have no learning curve, you can start immediately. And it doesn't matter which application, it works directly because the, the, the basic functionality is replacing the mouse cursor, but as we mentioned earlier, if you install a Wacom driver, you have pen functionality, even in office applications, in PDF annotations, and in online meetings like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. So basically, in a nutshell, interactive pen display like Wacom One, you can write directly on screen, no learning curve, you can start immediately. And if you go for the slightly less expensive way, which is fair enough and good start uh, for, for, for most people, you have the Intuos, where your eyes are on the screen, your tablet, your hand is working here. You have to get used to it. There is a learning curve. So basically it's, it's up to you, to you and your choice.